a lot of people are a little bit going cray cray over this one because we've been seeing throughout the weeks that it seems like Yoshihiro Tagashi is slowly but surely kind of edging towards like finishing this run we already know in case you don't in case you're oblivious to it in case you're in denial and think that Yoshihiro Tagashi is from here on forward never gonna be absent again and he's gonna keep on writing Hunt the Hunter for the next however many years until it's over before we jump into the episode of you would hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to get notified we drop new episodes of forever news every saturday 12 p.m est and throughout the week we re-upload some of those segments for your viewing pleasure hit them buttons let's jump into the news what we're we waiting for right first of all i would argue that you're a little bit delusional based on the fact that we've seen time and time again throughout hunt the hunters run especially in more recent years he comes back drops about two to three volumes worth of content and dips that's always been the case and his author comments and everything surrounding him little by little has been demonstrating that yeah he's probably not trying to be here that much longer he's referencing his health all of that good stuff in fact in one of the latest author comments there was a couple of different translations for it where he basically said that he only wants to draw manuscripts well in the latest author comments there was something along the lines of that similar comment however he said he only wants to draw the final manuscripts so that was already something to note of okay Tagashi is clearly trying to get up out of here he ain't trying to be here too long but then on top of that we got a couple of other pieces that tell us that looks like he's at the very least throwing in the towel on certain aspects and it might be already coming to a close this latest serialization of Hunt the Hunter because it looks like Togashi's giving up because for starters we have this that says Yoshihiro Togashi will have his assistants in charge of his author comments starting this week's weekly Shonen Jump issue number 49 so pretty much we no longer will be getting a comment from Togashi himself instead it will be from his assistants and I ain't gonna lie already that kind of seems very odd and strange like a weekly Shonen Jump or weekly Shonen Magazine author comment is a very simple thing you could say anything like hey my hand been hurting recently hey I watched this cool show hey whatever it comes to your mind you could pretty much stand there say as long as it's not like too raunchy or anything like that so the fact that he's having his assistants in charge of his author comments very very strange maybe it could be that he wants to save that content for his Twitter because he's been posting a lot on Twitter could be something more to it but that was already odd that basically he's giving up so to speak on doing the author comments but then he had a comment in the latest volume of Hunter Hunter volume 37 where he said a couple of different things for starters he said forever it never ends in the end work called scribble 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 like I'll keep it real to me it just sounds like Yoshihiro Tagashi hates doing this and it's a check and it's how he pays his bills and probably lives somewhat of a very nice lifestyle alongside with his wife the author of Sailor Moon but every ounce of what Tagashi tells me is that he just wants to be done with this and he hates doing it because then on top of that his comment was I gave up so production ended there and it has a lot of people worried that he's referring to that he gave up production pretty much recently and he finished up on writing the manuscript so he's pretty much done for now which again I'm not expecting much more I'm expecting about two to three volumes worth of content and he'll be gone everything from him giving up on doing the author comments to now him saying in the latest volume that he gave up so production ended there pretty much says that this dude like he's not as dedicated to this you know whole manga creating hunt the hunter as the readers some of the readers are a lot more dedicated to this series than even Yoshihiro Tagashi himself it's clear as day he's pretty much constantly giving up and it's not necessarily that hey he's you know a slacker that he's lazy so to speak a lot of it does have to do with health issues and again he is an elderly man but nevertheless do not be surprised if after 20 something to 30 something chapters of this return that the manga goes on hiatus yet again because it looks like with him saying I gave up so production ended there and now he's not even doing the author comments every week he's gonna have his assistants do it I mean it could be I throw the argument hey maybe he just wants to give his assistants a shot at having some type of presence in a shonen jump magazine so that could be the thing could be that he just doesn't know what to say anymore other than to complain about his health and how much he don't want to draw none of this shit no more so that's a possibility
possibility as well but it's clear as day that Tagashi just don't want to do this shit no more and he has to because he got to pay the bills and he has to because probably his contract with Shueisha and Shonen Jump says he has to but I wouldn't be surprised if he's just there absolutely miserable as he's drawing and writing because you get to a point where again you know you're 60 something years old you don't want to do this no more but my heart goes out to Tagashi I sympathize wholeheartedly with his troubles because his man has been dealing with this issue of not wanting to draw and do shit for a long time one of the reasons why the Yu Yu Hakusho ended I mean he could have even been talking about Yu Yu Hakusho there where he said I gave up so production ended there maybe he's referring to Yu Yu Hakusho ending the way that it did because Tagashi gave up there and he was like well that's where it ends shall I say <laughs> but yeah Yoshihiro Tagashi pretty much won't be commenting no more in Weekly Shonen Jump it'll be his assistants and in the latest volume he said I gave up so production ended there forever it never ends in the end work called scribble 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 <laughs> yo Tagashi sounds so fucking miserable I feel bad for him just a couple of small pieces of news for Roroni Kenshin and Chainsaw Man for starters it says here Roroni Kenshin new TV anime will be receiving new cast members on December 18th at Jump Festa 2023 according to their schedule preview for the show so we will be getting some Roroni Kenshin anime news I know some people they don't want to hear nothing about Roroni Kenshin because of what happened with the author totally understandable but yeah there will be some tv anime news coming december 18th for jump festa and also chainsaw man just a small tidbit here it says they'll be receiving a special feature in ame talk on november 17th this is the special manga project oh yeah shihei lin the uh editor of chainsaw man was like teasing like we got a manga project and i thought are they gonna do like a spinoff to chainsaw oh no it's not a spinoff it's just that there's gonna be like some featurette where i believe the cast of chainsaw man is going to be like on a tv show and i think this was already pre-recorded if i'm not mistaken but yeah they pretty much are going to be doing something which eh, maybe we'll see it and maybe it'll be funny but uh don't expect too much from it more so it's just like cool that they're really pulling out all the stops for the chainsaw man anime boatload parade promo event then it's been forever since i've spoke about this author from this series in case you ever heard of it Katekyo Hitman Reborn massive series still waiting to see like yo dog when they're gonna come back with that you know what I'm saying that revival for Hitman Reborn but apparently Akira Amano isn't too far away because according to this it says Akira Amano mangaka of Katekyo Hitman Reborn will be the next artist to participate in the Dragon Ball Super Gallery project in next month's Psycho Jump issue number one 2023 in case you don't know for the last couple years and for the next few years to celebrate Dragon Ball's big anniversary. They've been having famous mangaka go and draw popular key points from the Dragon Ball story. So you'll get like, hey, look, of, I don't know, the creator of Naruto drawing this volume of Dragon Ball, stuff like that. So so they're going to have Akira Mano, the author of Kotekyo Hitman Reborn. And hey, how about you get them to draw a new series or something or a new one shot? I mean, post Hitman Reborn. Oh, I'm lying. Oh, my God. They are doing a series. It's just not that big that uh, Ron Komonohashi detective, which I think they just announced that it has like half a million copies in circulation for like I don't know a few volumes or something like that it's really not that successful it looks like Akira Amano they really appreciate them as an artist and an author but since Kotekyo hit Reborn, they've had a bit of trouble trying to get you know that big hit and it could also be that they don't want to go back in weekly shonen jump because they had another series even before that that got an anime and they didn't do so well and i checked it out i really didn't care for it either so could very well be that they're not having luck and on top of that again trying to release it in all these quarterly things i think initially it was released in like jump plus that first series that akira mano had and again it really was i can't even remember the name of it i just remember it being like really goofy and just not all that uh ron komonohashi i wouldn't mind checking that out if it got an anime looks a little bit more serious it has that classic akira mano art style and in general i could go for some new akira mano stuff as long as it's not like that last series that was kind of 